Hey folks, it's back to these episodes, right? Hunt elk every year and how you should and could hunt elk every year. In this episode, we're talking about Montana, the state where I'm sitting right now, my home state of Montana. It has a deadline of March 15th. Don't miss that deadline because it gets a lot harder to acquire a Montana elk tag after that deadline. We'll go into how you can or possibly can, but right now, apply by the March 15th deadline. And as you saw in the introduction to these videos, this entire series is brought to you by Go Hunt and the Insider. And right now, if you go to GoHunt.com and you sign up for the Insider and use promo code RANDY, they're going to give you $50 of mad money, of store credit in their gear shop. So, anyhow, let's get to Montana because Montana's got some really good elk hunting. You see me with all these strategy articles, right? These strategy articles are worth everything. They're worth way more than the price of admission to your insider service. This one just got posted for 2019 Montana elk. Really, really good. Uh, they kind of have their opening sales pitch of why you should think about Montana. And I'll, I'll kind of go through it. 30 million acres of public land, a really good general elk tag. I mean, I would say Montana's general elk tag is right up there with Wyoming's general elk tag. And here are some reasons why. You get six weeks of archery hunting. And if you don't fill your tag then, you get to come back for five weeks of rifle hunting. And most of the state, you can hunt on that general tag. 11 weeks of elk hunting, that's, that's a lot of value. That's a lot of opportunity. The other part is in Montana, we shoot a lot of mature bulls. Uh, you would think that with the amount of hunting pressure Montana has that we'd have all the elk shot out. But first of all, we got a lot of elk here. Second of all, we have places where elk can get some age. Montana has a lot of roadless country or a lot of places where the roads are seasonally closed. It's because of these seasonal road closures that Montana can have most of the state on general tag and have as long of seasons as we do. So I'm gonna try explain this extremely complicated process that Montana has for those of you non-residents. The Go Hunt system does a really good job of explaining this. I'm going to try to give you the quick and dirty, but if you want all the details, here's where you get it. So the first hurdle that you have to clear as a non-resident is you must acquire a general elk tag. Well, that's one of the 17,000 plus tags Montana issues. And that's what you're applying for on this March 15th deadline. And you can then say, in the event I draw one of these non-resident elk tags, these general tags, put me in for one of these limited entry tags. That is the only way that you can acquire a limited entry elk tag in Montana. So think about this. The first thing is you gotta acquire your general tag in order to be in the drawing for the limited entry tags. Your general tag that you draw in the first drawing lets you then hunt, possibly, if you're lucky to draw, one of these limited entry units. So it's not like you can go hunt unit 410 if you drew that and then also fill another elk tag on, on a general tag. So in effect, it's, you're kind of saying, I want my general elk tag to become this limited entry tag. And to further confuse it, Montana has you non-residents using preference points for your general tag and bonus points for your limited entry tag. One of the beauties of Montana is you're gonna find out your draw results sometime usually between April 15th and April 20th. So by that time, you still usually have mm, probably Nevada available to you and Idaho available to you. So if you don't draw in Montana, you still have a couple more states ahead of you whose deadlines have not yet come. A lot of people ask us, well, why would I want a general tag in Montana? I guess I'm gonna just say this. Because if you're an archer especially, the elk hunting is fantastic. I, I would put our archery, the archery season of our general tag, 
as the best archery general tag hunt in the West. If you're an archer, the, having this Montana general elk tag is a great tag, a great opportunity. And here's part of the reason why, is if you think about the West, uh, mountains, valleys, mountains, valleys, most of our elk are up in the high country in archery season in September, which is primarily our public land. As hunting pressure and as weather hits the high country, the elk start moving down so that by our rifle season, which is late October into November, a lot of those elk are in the lower country, which is primarily private land. So all these really nice bulls you see in Montana, your best chance to have access to them is in the archery season. One question we often get is, well, Montana has so many general units, which one should I pick? Well, the folks at Go Hunt have went a long ways to helping you solve that. Uh, right here in this strategy article, they list what are the top general hunting districts by number of bulls harvested. And then they have a whole video about how you can sort and filter these general units by harvest success, by uh, bull to cow ratios, by percent public land, all kinds of things. And then also, there's a whole bunch of information here. If in the event you want to come and do an antlerless hunt, uh, there's a lot of people that come to Montana and hunt cow elk. This year, our season dates slide back a little later. Our archery season starts on, I believe, September 7th and runs until October 20th. That's, I mean, that covers all of the rut. And then this year, our rifle season will start the following weekend. We always give a week's break between archery and rifle. So the rifle season will start October 26th and it runs until December 1st. So this, this year, that rifle season is sliding even later, which those of you who know how sometimes winter storms can push these bulls out of that really high country and make them more accessible, that last week of season can be super, super good elk hunting for the rifle hunts here on a general tag in Montana. A couple things you wanna know if you do apply, your odds are gonna be really good for that general tag but they're gonna be really poor for that limited entry tag. So some people say, well, I'm gonna do that, and if I don't draw the limited entry tag, I'm gonna ask for my money back. They'll give you 80% of your money back if you do it before August 1st. If you wait until after August 1st, you only get 50% of your money back. So earlier I said there's a possibility that if you miss the deadline, you might be able to still get a Montana tag. One of the things you want to keep an eye on is as people start turning these tags back in because they said, well, something happened, uh, the work schedule, or I drew a tag in a different state, or something happened where, well, I just didn't draw my limited entry tag, so I'm going to turn it back in and get my refunds. Those refunded tags start coming available over the summer and Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks posts, all right, here's the date we're gonna make those available. So there is what I call some second chance opportunities in Montana, if you don't draw in the first part, or if you miss the draw altogether. So if you did miss the drawing deadline of March 15th, later in the summer, Montana does let you buy a preference point towards your general tag or a bonus point towards your limited entry tag. So uh, you will then have that 2019 point available to you when you go into the draw in 2020. So now, as if things aren't complicated enough, I'm gonna walk you through, and it's all in here in the Insider, uh, what the cost is for you to apply for the general tag, and then if you decide if you want to apply for a limited entry tag. I told you that most of our Elk tags come with a deer tag along with it. Not all of them. You can apply for the elk only or the elk deer combo. And if you're not going to be deer hunting, why spend the extra $160, I think it is. So the elk deer combination tag, which you get both an elk tag and a deer tag, is $1,041. The elk only tag 
is $885. So each of those will give you, you'll end up with a general elk tag in either of those instances. And if you want to, you can throw $50 in there to say, if I'm unsuccessful, give me a preference point towards next year. Given how high the draw odds are with this general tag in Montana, I don't know that it's worth the $50 extra preference point. So now, if you say, I want to add on top of that, I, I, if I draw this general tag, I want to be in the drawing for a limited entry tag, there's a few more costs. The application fee is $9. Uh, and if you want a bonus point towards limited entry draws, remember I said the general tags are on preference points and the limited entry are on bonus points? Well, if you want a bonus point towards that, it would be another $20. That's how it works. Uh, the only part of it that's non-refundable is the application fees. If you don't draw, you'll get your money back uh, for the most part. A um, few other things you need to think about in Montana. There are two issues that always come up, wolves and grizzly bears. So wolves have an impact. Uh, the wolf numbers have kind of flattened out. The minimum projected number of wolves is usually in the high 600s, the low 700s. Uh, I would suggest if you're coming here, pick up a wolf tag. They're over the counter. Non-residents can buy them. You never know when you're going to be out there on the mountain and see a wolf. Um, a lot of our wolf hunting harvest is incidental by elk hunters. So it might be worth adding that to the mix. There are some parts of the state that don't have wolves. Central and southeast Montana have really strong elk numbers. They also have very, very few wolves, maybe just the random wolf coming through. You get to the northwest part of the state, that is where there are lots and lots of wolves. And there gets to be fewer wolves as you come further south and further east. The other thing people often ask when they reach out to us and say, what, what would be a good place to go elk hunting? The first question I ask them is, are you comfortable hunting in grizzly country or not? Because if you answer that you are not, I'm going to tell you to hunt units north of I-90, not units in northwest Montana. So the core of the grizzly bear habitat where you're going to see the most of them. They're scattered pretty much all over the western half of the state, but northwest Montana is going to have a lot of grizzly bears down here where we live around south of Bozeman has a lot of grizzly bears. If you're not comfortable hunting around grizzly bears, just accept that fact. There's plenty of areas in the state to hunt if you're not comfortable with grizzly bears. If you say, oh, I'm comfortable with grizzly bears, the beauty of that is you're going to get to hunt some of the best general units in the state. In Montana, we shoot a lot of elk. The highest recently, 2017 and 2015, we harvested over 30,000 elk. That includes cows and bulls. All this is in the Go Hunt Insider. It's excellent stuff. Uh, general hunts versus limited entry hunts, uh, it's hard to go wrong. I, if I was a non-resident and I applied for the Montana elk tag and I didn't draw the limited entry permit, there's no way I'd give back that elk tag. I'd come here and I'd hunt that general tag. So this one surprises everybody. The top states for Boone and Crockett elk since 2015. Number one, Montana. Yeah. Everyone thinks Arizona and Utah, which are number two and number three. Wyoming is, num t well, actually, Arizona, Utah, and Wyoming are tied for third. Uh, there's just some tremendous elk hunting in Montana. I don't know how many pages this is, but I'm scrolling through. It's a lot of information. Uh, it's all right here. What used to take people days and weeks to sort and accumulate into one place. There it is. So anyhow, Montana, great elk hunting state, long seasons, 30 million acres of public land, easy to draw relative to other states. And if you draw, you can hunt the majority of the state. If you want more of this information, go to the Go Hunt Insider, sign up, use promo code Randy and get $50 of free credit in their gear shop. But more importantly, don't miss the March 15th deadline. Montana, I love it. I live here. I might be a little biased, but we got really good elk hunting. Apply. Thanks for watching.